Hi everybody! Today we're here in Pigeon Forge at Dollywood! You ready? Ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. Now folks, most importantly, I picked you up at Tram Stop C, that is C for cotton candy, most sweetest tram stop here at Dollywood. You're going to want to remember this tram stop if you want to make it back to your vehicle later today by a tram, you're in C, cotton candy. what's going on here at Dollywood they give you these nice little brochures yes they brought them back they got Santa's list which is actually really cool um, Santa can actually tell you if you've been naughty or nice uh, it's a new interactive uh, thing now this year they're doing for the kids and of course there's some welcoming from Dolly Parton herself they also have Christmas in the Smokies which is a new well it's actually a show that they have here it's not new though they have Christmas with the Kingdom Hares also Holy Night and the Appalachian Christmas Band of course they have the Dollywood Express definitely suggest doing but when you get one of these they'll actually give you a schedule of different times for the different shows and there's a lot of shows of course Miss Lillian can be found well back by her old chicken shack and here's a really nice well very detailed map you got two big loop you got, you got a loop here a big loop and then you have the little um, uh, wildwood grove section of course don't forget your season passes and talks about the uh, the glacier ridge and time savers and that's pretty much well, that. So guys, we're back here at Dollywood, and it's on a Wednesday, and there's not many folks actually here, but starting tomorrow, it's gonna be crazy. In fact, it's gonna be super busy on the weekends. In fact, I don't think you can even get uh, a ticket uh, for the weekend, but. They have gingerbread cookies and snowflake sugar cookies. Looks like they got a cupcake there too. Well, it looks like all the season fashions are ready to go here at the Easy Way 5 and 10 cent stores. Dollywood's got their own attorney. Looks like it's dinner time for these guys. They're getting a bite to eat here. Dawn, are you hungry? Yeah. I say let's go to Aunt Granny's and have dinner. All right. So we checked in for Aunt Granny's. You have to give them your phone number and then they'll page you back. So that's new because normally they would just like seat you or you wait in line. So now you can at least walk around and enjoy a little bit of your time before you have to come back. So the other day I was going through some footage on my other camera on the SD card and I came across some forgotten footage that we took back in the fall time about a really cool treat and some eats that we had here. I'm going to put it in this video right here. We're gonna head into Show Street Ice Cream. They got a real peanut buttery treat in there. And this is what we're gonna get, the peanut butter mega shake. Well, check this milkshake out. It's called the Monster Peanut Butter Milkshake. It's got a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Looks like a piece of fudge. Uh, wow, look at that. And there's peanut butter running down the edge. You see that? And then they got like a, this is a nutty bar. A peanut butter nutty bar with so cream. Good. It's got peanut butter all the way around the edge. Look at that, with peanut butter like Reese's. Oh 
So we're trying to get into this monstrous beast of peanut butter goodness, right? I'm trying to figure out how you eat it. Look at that, it's like peanut butter overload. We'll go ahead and let's get into it. It's interesting. You really taste the peanut butter and like, it's chocolate. I don't know if we're supposed to be eating it with a spoon or drink it with a straw. Now they use real uh, peanut butter ice cream and then they blend it, so to make that. So it's, it's super thick. I mean, it's thick. Yeah, it's thick. I guess thick. you have to eat the spoon, so that's what we're doing. Well, here we are, guys. We're here at the Harvest Festival. And of course, they have all, all sorts of new foods to try out during the Harvest Festival. And I, we're excited. We're going to go around. We're going to try a lot of these different foods today. And this is their sausage they have going on with some uh, greens there. There's like some peppers. You got some uh, seasoned potatoes. And over here is the pork belly. Definitely smoked, right? Do you like the smoke? Mm -mm. You're not liking the smoke. She ain't like the smoke flavor. I do. I like it. It's not overpowering though, is it? I'm still chewing. Um, now this here has got some like, I think there's some like squash or something or some kind of um, stuff in this. Here's some of the peppers and I want to try squash. onions. potato definitely got buttery it's buttery and um, it's actually real sweet sweet kind of a little bit of pepper in it a little bit of pepper I don't think it'd be cooked longer they're kind of hard it's supposed to be cooked longer and softer or something um, what is that some kind of something some new kind of carrot or squash no, it looks like an okra or something oh. It's a um, carrot and it's not cooked. Okay, I'm not liking that. So you don't like the pork belly. And, I don't like the sausage. And you don't like the sausage. So Dawn doesn't like either. Um, they're, they're, it's good. I don't know. I like it. It has a weird smell or flavor to it. Or... So Dawn got the fish and chips. Look at those fries. They're like like thin and all that. It's pretty cool. I've never seen a fry like that. Of course, we have the fish. The fish and chips. Look at that. It's like they're wide. Ooh, they're salty. They're hot. They're hot. Really hot. This is flounder. So you got two pieces of flounder, right? The flounder. Let me see if I can. Here's the flounder. Look at that. Golden, crispy, delicious. Definitely the flounder. The flounder is really good. I like the flounder. Now, now here's the fried green tomato BLT. Look at that. There's actually a little bacon on top, and it's got some corn. Oh wow, it's got like like a little bit of like street corn down there. That's amazing looking. There it is, guys. It's uh, absolutely. Uh, it's super soft. The bread is, and um, of course, you can pull this little little thing yeah, bacon on, and give you some big old wad of bacon. <laughs> So this is really, really good. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. um, really good. That corn salad was, um, it was sweet. It was sweet. That was some good footage. This bonehead forgot to put it in there. <laughs> <Didn't he? laughs> so, uh, yeah, that happens sometimes, believe it or not. Duh. Duh. <laughs>
we're going to do the 1987 one, and we get to choose two main dishes. We're going to choose the deep fried turkey and the glazed ham. We could, we could have also did like either fried chicken or pot roast, but we decided with the ham and turkey. Then you choose four sides. And Dawn likes Brussels sprouts, so we're going to do the Brussels sprouts with sausage, mac and cheese, uh, mashed potatoes and gravy, and sweet potato casserole. And then for dessert, you pick one of these. We haven't decided on what we're going to do. Of course, Dollywood uses paper straws. Paper straw. So we're going to try this uh, bread out real quick here. And they got this, uh, I don't know, it's like a cheddar roll. The cheddar? Yeah. It's actually garlic. Taste the garlic in it? Yeah, there's garlic in this. I'm going to try this little bit of cornbread. Cornbread was. You can use this as, as ammunition. It's not that good. It is here. There's the the ham, and over there, that's the mashed potatoes and gravy. And there's those Brussels sprouts there. Mac and cheese. And there's the sweet potato casserole. That there is the deep fried turkey, or so that's what we're looking at. Well, there's my plate I fixed. Look at that, a little bit of everything there. Yeah, so this is family style, uh, it's all you can eat, so they'll keep bringing you back the things that you want. But the most dominant smell on this is the this uh, casserole. Brown sugar, definitely brown sugar in it. I'm gonna get into this mac and cheese. Look at that, mac and cheese. Ooh, the mac and cheese is really good. And then here's this. Uh, Sausage, Brussels sprout. Mm. It's good. What do you think? What do you think about the Brussels sprout? It's not bad. I've had better, but it's not bad. Of course, the mashed potatoes and gravy. Hmm, really good. Uh, definitely homemade. What do you think about that turkey? Yeah. So this is supposed to be uh, deep fried turkey, so I don't know. Turkey's actually really good. Yeah. Let me try this ham now. And now it's for the ham. Mm. The ham is actually super sweet. The food is always good here. We've never had a bad meal here, um, other than uh, it's family style now. So Dawn doesn't like that. It's better when you go and get what you want. The mac and cheese is actually really good. The mac and cheese. Get off the. See, it's all nice and sticky to the. There's the mashed potatoes and. There's that Brussels sprout. You can see the caramelization to it. And here's that um, sweet potato casserole. And the turkey and ham. 
dessert is here. Look at that blackberry cobbler. Ooh, yeah. And then this is the pear and cranberry. Man, there might be some sweet potato in there. We want to say thanks to our, our friends from, all we know is they're from uh, Northwest Ohio, was it? They're from Ohio. They paid for our, our meal here. Uh, so thank you, thank you, uh, whoever's out there. Uh, yeah, the waitress came out. She's like, uh, some folks from Northwest Ohio paid for uh, your dinner tonight. So uh, thank you so much. Um, so what did you think about Aunt Granny's? It was okay. It was okay? Yeah. I mean, it's not the same anymore. You can go up and get your own, what you wanted. Yeah. That's all like family style. Guys, Dollywood has really good food. Um, and we've been to some theme parks. And by far, Dollywood has the best food. Where else you can have all you can eat? What did you think about Aunt Granny's? It was okay. It was okay? Yeah. I mean, it's not the same anymore. You can go up and get your own what you wanted. Yeah. That's all like family style. Guys, Dollywood has really good food. Um, and we've been to some theme parks. And by far, Dollywood has the best food. Where else you can have all you can eat? So the lights are on and they're looking beautiful. And there's some more lights than there were the last time we were here, so. That's a new show here. It's called the Candlelight Carolers. Really, really good. They're like voices of angels.
Um, I think I, I think, look at that. Don, I think the Stay Pop Marshmallow Man just exploded at Dollywood. This is not good. I can't even see anymore. I can't see. I can't see anyway. I took mine off. I got a big one. So no matter how bad you want snow, do not stand underneath yeah. the snow makers. Um, because this, this, this doesn't go away at all. And it's got a weird smell to it. it not good. Fun. Well guys, that's going to do it for tonight here at Dollywood. And if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe so you miss these upcoming Smoky Mountain Adventures. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye everyone. <laughs>